Hey guys, Brad here from Get Out There Gear Reviews, and today I'll be testing and reviewing the Climate Static V Lux. This is an extra wide sleeping bag suitable for backcountry camping, tent camping, and cabin. The Static V Lux is Climate's widest sleeping mat in its Static series, and measuring a dimension of 76 centimeters wide, if you're a little larger of a person, it's gonna provide that extra surface area for you to sleep on. The mat also weighs in at 27 ounces or 765 grams, so it's not the lightest in the Static Series, nor is it the lightest sleeping pad out there, but it is fairly compact. This is about the size of a one liter, one and a half liter water bottle. Unless you're a real gramophobe for your backcountry trips, it's really not too much of a difference uh, with a couple extra hundred grams here. You'll definitely notice it with a comfortable sleep and you'll be thankful for those extra hundred or so grams. So I've used this mattress for about 30 nights so far on a bunch of backcountry camping trips, including some lengthy expeditions where weight was more of a factor. However, being canoeists, we can afford a couple extra hundred grams in our backpacks as well when doing a portage. So I've already used this a bunch of times. This is what you could expect it to pack down after multiple trips in the backcountry. Unpacking, pretty simple. Nice pouch here for patches which come with the kit. If you need to do a field repair, in 30 days of use, I haven't had to use a field repair. Now, mind you, a lot of our camping was on nice boreal forest moss, so nice thick moss, so not a lot of places to puncture your mattress either. And we also used it in a tent. So unfurling the mat, I'm 6'3", 185 pounds. You can see it fully encompasses my body here. Inflating, there is a two-way valve with a deflate side and an inflate side. It's a one-way valve too, so when I blow on it, air is not going to escape. There's also a pump sack that you can get for this. Mine didn't ship with one. You can definitely pick one up from Climate. So this mattress is only a R value of 1.3, so it's not the warmest. It's more for summer season use and maybe a little bit of shoulder season use. It doesn't have a really high insulating factor for it. So the moisture from your mouth is not really going to be a big contributing factor to the comfort of your sleep if you're using it during the seasons for which it's properly rated for. So I'm going to blow it up and we'll see how long it takes. All right, that was pretty quick. That was only about a minute, 20 seconds to inflate the mat. Fully inflated, like I said, as being six foot three. Now that it's inflated, it's just about an inch or two shorter than me. Uh, so if I got a pillow or something at the top, it uh, keeps my head off the ground or if my feet just dangle off an inch. Really, in, in sleeping with this thing, I've never noticed any discomfort based on my own personal height. But if you're maybe six foot six or six foot seven, this size length might not be uh, the appropriate length for you. So this mattress provides a really comfortable sleep. It's about a solid inch, inch and a half of actual inflation off the ground. So it's a nice and cushy sort of um, luxury feel to it. These outside ridges are nice to kind of keep you in the middle of the center of the mattress. Especially if you have a sleeping bag on top of it, it might slide a little bit. I find these rails actually help a little bit, um, but what I really find helps is the actual deep V's here that kind of conform to curves on my back and whatnot. Even though it's nice and wide, if you're a sleeper who rolls around, you're gonna have lots of mattress to roll on. However, if you are looking at a smaller, lightweight sort of tent setup, and you have to have another sleeping mat in there, uh, we found that because the Static V Lux is so large, it actually takes up some precious space in the tent. Two Static V Luxes might not fit in one of the smaller tents, but I'm in a solo tent right now, and it just goes edge to edge. Now this is a little larger of a solo tent. If you were in, say, like a bivy bag, um, or another smaller shelter system, this is definitely not the mattress for you. But if you have a tent with a larger footprint, or even if you're sleeping on, say, a tarp on the ground, this is definitely gonna work for you. This is one of the nicer sleeps we've had in a lot of our backcountry travels. And I think it's just because it's such a nice, thick mattress. Uh, longevity, we'll see how long it lasts before we get any like micro uh, pin, 
pin punctures or whatnot. So we'll see how it uh, stands up to the rigors of use. Now, only got out on about 30 to 40 days using this mattress. No leaks, no problems with uh, inflating or deflating right now, but it just stands to see long term. A lot of these mattresses, if you're going to have fail points on them or if you're going to have blowouts or, or, or leaks, usually you start to see that after a couple seasons of use. So long term, hard to say, but short term durability and comfort, this is definitely a win in my books.